Hello, welcome to the Vanny Center. I'm Lincoln R. Neal. I'm here with Emily Eman, a Big Ten Network analyst. We're here just hours before Nebraska takes on Wisconsin. Emily, how is your anticipation level right now? I've literally had this game circled on my calendar since the schedules came out, but I think the thing that we didn't know was whether these teams would still be in contention. You know, they had really tough non-conference schedules, and now both of them undefeated 18-0. and So much weight is happening for this game, and of course, it's the first time a one and a two I've met since 2019. So mm-hmm. you add all that in, and this is the most anticipated match, I think, not only of this year, but in recent history. Yeah, I, I think I made that comment in one of my articles, like, I couldn't think of anything bigger. I mean, not only do you have the undefeated number one versus number two, but in a year of the Big Ten like this, I mean, it seems like Nebraska and Wisconsin are separated a little bit too. Do you think that adds to the anticipation and weight of this? Even though they're playing again, does does the first matchup kind of have a little more gravitas because of that? Yeah, it definitely does. And I think this matchup sets the tone for what we'll get later on when they meet, you know, on the second to last day of conference play. And it's not only big because one and two undefeated, you throw in the history of there of Wisconsin has won the last 10 matchups. This is a Nebraska team that feels like they can finally take them down. They have the offense to do it. They have the defense, of course, they've had for a few years now. But this game feels more weighted because when you look down the line, it impacts the Big Ten race mm-hmm. and who's going to get that title. And for a Nebraska team that hasn't had it since 2017, it's a it's a really big game. Yeah. Uh, if we're talking post game and Nebraska's victorious, mm-hmm. who are you doing the post game interview with? Who had a big game? Mm-hmm. Who's the post game interview with that helped lead Nebraska to that victory? I think for me, the biggest thing I'm watching this game is what Merritt Beeson does. Mm-hmm. Um, I think as a leader for a very young team, I know of course she hasn't been in a Nebraska Wisconsin rivalry game, but she's played Nebraska. She did it last, or she plays Wisconsin. She did it last year. She won. She's the biggest question mark for me of if she has a really big night, that could be huge for Nebraska because we know that you know it would be smart for Nebraska not to send a lot of balls outside when you have a player that's 6'9 blocking Mm -hmm. them so they're gonna have to send a lot of balls behind with Merritt Beeson with um, Andy Jackson on that slide I think Beeson has to have a big night for Nebraska to be victorious so probably Beeson but hey say Lexi (laughs) Rodriguez puts up 30 digs I'm pulling Lexi (laughs) that'll be be exciting Nebraska fans love their defense too Uh, Wisconsin we'll see what they come out with they run a 5-1 or they're 6-2 uh, both their both their players who had missed a couple of matches, uh, MJ Hamill, Devin Robinson, they suited up on uh, on Wednesday. I've I have a feeling they may be ready to go. Maybe the big game hype uh, gets them going too. Uh, what's the key for Wisconsin? I mean, is it just doing what they normally do and just kind of doesn't matter what offensive system they're in, they take care of business? The biggest thing for them is to stay balanced, whether they're in that 5-1 or go back to that 6-2, which we've seen most of the season except the last three games. This team thrives off of balance. So if they have one player going off, that's great. But if they're having an off night, they can send it elsewhere. They can also adjust to the defense that's given and say they're you know pushing blockers, fronting middles. Well, they can send it back to Anna Smrek and Devin Robinson, and they're sure for a kill. So for Wisconsin, I would say it's it's really playing Wisconsin volleyball, meaning they're balanced, they're physical, and they're aggressive. Do you think this roof will last this entire match? Will the fans blow it off? I don't think the roof's going to last. I don't think the stands are going to last. I think they're everything's going to fall, and I could not be more excited for it. At least it's on camera, right? It's on camera. we got documentation. So uh, I've heard calls for that. I was at No Sit Saturday, No Sit Sunday basketball game. I've heard calls for No Sitting Saturday. So we'll see uh, how the fans react to that. But it promised to be a good one. So thanks for Emily Eamon for joining us here. Watch the match on BTN, and we'll have all the write-up on Huskers Illustrated, and we'll talk to you after the match. Thank you.